They don't even use the Facebook Messenger feature, but they don't remove it. So you get, you get mm. people that, that use it and they never get a response. Then you're losing customers. I, I know one specifically that I, I take one of our cars to and uh, you know, sometimes they don't answer the phone because it's a smaller shop and they're, you know, they're working and I get all that. Um, but they have a Facebook page and I would used it before, but then they stopped kind of interacting with me and it was there's was a there's a pretty big gap there between service and I, I actually commented on there or messaged them on there I'm like are you guys even open still because there's, there's no sign of any life you know and so I'm like man maybe the, you know this COVID stuff killed this business and I I, I don't know yeah. but I wound up getting a hold of them anyways I wound up having a window of time where I called them and they answered and, and I talked to them about it like yeah we don't really check that i'm like well maybe you should remove it man yeah, you can remove that from if you are not Put a call button there it's kind of like that'd be like me putting my phone number and then not answering and people are like dang tori you're an asshole you never answer your phone call i, I never planned on it so i right. took the web you know i took the phone number off it's not on there <laughs> instead of the messenger i mean put it so that they can only call you or put it to the learn more and it takes them to a contact page directly to the contact page of their website which then you know says call or maybe they have a scheduling form or anything like that clean off that stuff that if you're not going to utilize it, don't even have it as an option.